Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to The Room Where It Happens, Hamilton Animatic, and we'll also be reacting to a live-ish performance. Now, as usual with Act 2, I'm finding it really difficult to find the live performance on YouTube. Um, so I'm kind of trying to find other videos that kind of substitute it in a little bit. Um, so for this one, we'll react to the animatic first. And then we've also got a live performance by the cast of Hamilton that was done, I believe, for Joe Biden um, recently-ish. Um, which will be fun to react to as well. So... Yeah, let's just jump right into it. So here we go. Five minutes, 18 seconds, and we're off. Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr. Sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? Love no. the beats you know, over. Claremont Street. Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. <laughs> now how you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less, smile more, <laughs> do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. The Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Ooh. Two Savage. Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerge with a compromise, having opened doors that were previously closed. Bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital. And here's the pièce de résistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. Of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Thomas claims Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas claims Alexander said, I've nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas claims I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas claims Well, I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the parties get to yes. The pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Meanwhile, Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. <laughs> It isn't pretty. Then Jefferson approaches with the dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginian insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win the victory for the Southerners. In other words, ho, ho. a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll <laughs> provide him his vote. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where we got it? Else has in the room where it happened. Alexander Hamilton. What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Alexander Hamilton. Did Washington know about the dinner? Was the presidential pressure to deliver? Alexander Hamilton. Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol? Because we'll have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it. You get hate for it. You get nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's going to outlive me. What do you want, Bert? What do you want, Bert? What do you stand for nothing, Bert? What do you fall for? I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I. Wanna be in the room where it 
happens, the room where it happens. I be Saying what they trade away. We dream of a brand new start. But we dream in the dark for the most part. Dark as a tomb where it happens. I've got to be in the road where it happens. I've got to be where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I gotta be, I gotta be in the room where it happens. Click, boom. Oh my god, I love that one. That was so good. Wow, I re- uh, that's one of my favorites actually so far. That was so good. I loved the sort of the sort of the rhythm of it and the uh, you know like uh, it's just, I feel like Burr's just a really good singer. <laughs> um, I loved the art style of this as well, like the the yellow and the purpley blue, uh, or the blue or the purple, just as it. Sorry. Like the art style for this was fantastic. There was there was one that I thought was really cool where it kind of shows him and in, like he's all in blue except for his pu- his eyes like there. That's such a cool. That's like wallpaper worthy kind of. Oh, onto like what actually happened in the song. That was great. Oh, I really loved that. I really loved. It was kind of like it was set up as if if as if Hamilton was compromising for it all. Like he was he was doing this he's just trying to get something but you know he's, he's willing to compromise with the others but in reality he's actually just outplayed them and he's like come out on top that was really good you kind of saw hamilton's what's the word for it not dastardly but hamilton's like scheming side of things come out there which is really interesting um i really loved that this was from the perspective of burr as well so like you see him in the window like sort of spying on them like oh my god what's he doing um and then at the end it kind of comes out that what he really wants he just wants to be in that room he wants to be one of the people that is important enough to have been in that room but just everywhere he goes he's always hitting another door and he's never quite getting there that's really good i really liked that um and that animatic was great as well. Right, let's move on to this this live one. So I'll put it back to the beginning. Uh, I believe this is it's probably a bit outdated now. Um, this was uh, during the voting in America. Um, I'll play it from the beginning, just for those people that are interested. Um, but the actual... It looks like it starts... It starts pretty quickly, actually. It starts like 20 seconds in, so for those that aren't particularly interested. Show up and vote. You will determine the outcome of this election. Vote, vote, vote. If you're able to vote early in your state, vote early. If you're able to vote in person, vote in person. Vote whatever way is the best way for you. Just make sure you understand you have it in your control to determine what this country is going to look like the next four years. Just before that moves on, that's a very timeless thing to say. You know, it's it's whenever you have the option to vote vote because it's you know it's so important for the the country you might feel like your vote doesn't matter but in the grand scheme of things if everyone who thought their vote didn't matter actually voted then it would might it be a completely different world let's go into it this two virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes they emerge with a compromise having open doors that were previously closed rose <laughs> The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power. The crime. A system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital. And here's the piece de resistance. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. The art of the trade, how the sausage is made. We just assume that it happens. No one else is in the room where it happens. Time 
Bruce claims. Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas I love claims. that guy. Alexander said, I have nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas claims. I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas claims. I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. What? No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the party's get to yes. The pieces that are sacrificed to every game of chess. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison's grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Meanwhile, Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. <laughs> it isn't pretty. The Jefferson approaches with a dinner and invite. Madison responds with Virginia and insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, oh, oh. a quid pro quo. I suppose. He has a great Wouldn't voice. you like to work a little closer to home? <laughs> Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll provide him his vote? Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? No one else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? My God. In God we trust, but we never really know what got discussed. Big boom and it happened. And no one else was in the room where it happened. Alexander Hamilton. What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Alexander Hamilton. In Washington, oh, about the dinner was the presidential pressure to deliver. Alexander Hamilton. Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. capital? Because we'll have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it. You get hate for it. You get nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's going to outlive me. What do you want, girl? What do you want, girl? If you stand for nothing, girl, what do you fight for? I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. They trade away. Yeah. We dream of a brand new star. But we dream in the dark for the most part. Dark as a tomb where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I want to be in the room where it happens. I want to be in the room where it happens. <laughs> that was really good again I, oh, I love that song like i said i think that's one of my favorite songs out of them all i don't think it's my favorite song because some of them in the first act are just so good and so timeless and just so they're so easy to just like get stuck in your head and sing along to and i think this is one of them as well but obviously this is fresh in my mind so it's just really good i love it's really cool to see all of the um see all of them just in their everyday clothes effectively um he just looks really cool that's a really interesting style which is just really cool but yeah no, i love the <laughs> i love the the crown um yeah i didn't really i didn't actually expect it to have that much in terms of um you know, like real life uh, voting kind of videos. So if that bothered you, I'm, I'm very sorry. But um, beyond that, the actual video, I think it's really cool to see everyone kind of, everyone's at home, aren't they? Just like singing along. This would have been like right in the middle of the the pandemic. So that's really cool. And it's come together really well. Whichever way they do it, it's just really well. Lynn's camera is insane. 
Look at how like clean that is. That's ridiculous. And you kind of see here, just the way you start singing to the camera, you can kind of feel that sort of scheming side of it. Really well done. Um, yeah, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. I'm really glad that I'm back to all this. Um, but yeah, oh, that was what I was going to ask. Obviously, this is about part of this vote. They um, they moved the capsule. Or they did they move? Was there already a capsule that was then moved, or was this the first time they had like designated a cap uh, cap capital? Um, if it's like if it was like if it was moved and it you know there was already a capsule and then they've moved it, is that something that could like realistically happen today? I'm really curious to see if like the logistics of that. I assume not. I assume it's basically just like set in stone now. There's a, you can't really move the capsule because you'd have to move a bunch of... I don't even know what defines something as the capsule of and the label. Of, um, obviously, there's a capital building and things like that. But um, yeah, let me know. I'm really interested to find out if... One, was there a capsule before? Or was this the first time there was a capsule? And also, would it be actually realistic to move the capital today? Like... If there was a vote that said we want to move the capsule, do you reckon that would actually ever happen? Is is it possible? Is there something more than just the label of the capsule that means that it has to stay there now because of so much infrastructure is built around it? I'm really interested to find that out. Um. Anyway, yeah. Let me know if there's anything I missed or anything that you you think I might have not have like picked up on the song. Um, because I know these have like so many layers and so many kind of references and things like that. Um, obviously it references back to some older songs which are really cool as well but um, yeah I'm going to end it there I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video goodbye